Hello, my name is Mark Schipman Mueller. I'm a product manager at Airy for camera systems, and I'll introduce you to the features of our newest baby, the Alexa Mini LF. This is a camera where we were able to squeeze a large format sensor into the tiny mini housing. You can shoot large format now with a camera that is so tiny and so small. And I'm gonna tell you a little bit about the features of this camera, starting with how robust and reliable it is. This is a true Airy camera. All our cameras are very robust and reliable. And one of the reasons is that we have a uniquely wide temperature range. All our products are specified for minus 20 degrees Celsius to plus 45 degrees Celsius. That is minus four degrees Fahrenheit to plus 113 degrees Fahrenheit. So if you use this camera in the Arctic, if you use it in the rainforest, if you use it in downtown Manhattan, the camera will survive the abuse you throw at it. And a couple other things we have, of course, it's engineered to withstand the abuse on a film set. And we have a very special way we attached a lens to the sensor. There's the sensor mount right here. And I have a sensor board here. The sensor board goes to the back of the sensor mount. And then the two of them lift together like this. And the lens mount gets attached to the same piece of metal. So now if there's any force acting on the lens, the whole thing moves together, the relationship between lens and sensor never changes. This is a principle we introduced with the first Alexa and that has really done well for us. All right, next we take all our cameras and before we ship them, we go through a process called shake and bake. There we take the camera and we put it on what's essentially an industrial paint shaker and we shake the living daylights out of the camera while also raising the temperature, lowering the temperature, increasing the humidity, decreasing the humidity. And what we're doing there is we're simulating a first rough week of usage of this camera. Think cobblestone streets in the Arctic, in the rainforest. We found that if anything electronic fails, they tend to fail in the first week of use. So we simulate that first week. So the error occurs in the factory, we can exchange the part. So all the cameras you get have gone through the shake and bake, and we're pretty confident that they will work on the set. If anything does happen, we have service stations worldwide where you can call, talk to a human who knows the cameras inside and out, and get help with that. Now let's talk about the compatibility of this camera. This is a beautiful new camera, but it sits in a larger system of lenses, accessories, and other cameras. So we thought long and hard about this, and we made sure that we have the same large format sensor in this camera, as we have in the Alexa LF. We have the same recording formats as we have in the Alexa LF. So using these two cameras together on the set will be very easy. We're also using the same color science as we have an Alexa, Alexa Mini, a Mira, Alexa 65, all our cameras, which makes footage very easy to intercut. The lens mounts, we have the new LPL lens mount right here. And that takes all the LPL lenses but in order to take PL mount lenses, there's an adapter, which is this guy here. This is the PL to LPL adapter that allows you to use all PL lenses, be they Super 35 or full format. There's also a Leica M lens mount you can purchase from Lights. And the whole thing is compatible with LDS-1, LDS-2, and Cook slash I lens metadata. And inside the camera, we have the same D-squeeze ratio for anamorphic lenses as inside the Alexa LF so that all our cameras, the Alexa LF and the Alexa Mini LF can support all these D-squeeze ratios. So the camera has three internal motorized large format FSND filters. FSND stands for full spectrum neutral density. That means that even at higher densities, you do not get any color shift in your image. They come in ND.6, 1.2 and 1.8. That's a two stop difference. And that'll make it very easy to calculate your change in exposure on the set. The Alexa Mini LF is compatible with almost all Alexa Mini mechanical and electronic accessories. It's compatible with the Airy and C-Motion wireless remote systems and with the Airy wireless video system. The camera has a power input right about here that works with 12 volt and 24 volt. In fact, the voltage range is 11 to 34 volts and the power draw is just slightly more than the Alexa Mini. So any of the power systems you have for the Alexa Mini will also work with the Alexa Mini LF. We have listened to a lot of the feedback we got on the Alexa Mini and we've made a number of improvements to this camera. So let's start with some extra connectors. We have on the back here, this is something that people always ask for. We have a regulated 12 volt accessory power output 
and we have a regulated 24 volt accessory output. Then right here, there is a new sync in that takes black burst or tri-level sync to sync this camera to other cameras or something else. And the six pin audio connector is also new. This is, it used to be a five pin connector on the mini. This is now a six pin connector. First of all, it means you can't confuse between this connector and the time code connector anymore. So this is six pin, time code is five pin. And the extra pin also allows us to output 12 volts for, so we can power preamplifiers or wireless audio receivers directly with one cable from this connector. We have easier access to some of the connectors. You can get to the time code connector easier now. When you jam sync, you know, you do this twice a day probably, you want to get to the time code connector very easily. There is a viewfinder connector now located on the camera left side, that's right here. That's where the viewfinder cable goes in. That's camera left where the viewfinder is, so that makes sense, it's easier to get it. And we have much easier access to the recording media, which sits in a media bay that's on the camera left side and goes right in here. The camera has two built-in microphones. There's one right here and one right here. They allow you to record a scratch track. And on the camera left side, there are six user buttons. One, two, three, four, five, six. That's three more than on the Alexa Mini. And we have a lock button that allows you to lock all these user buttons. There's an additional Wi-Fi antenna here on the camera left side, so you get much better Wi-Fi reception. And the Airy RAW license is included in this camera, is included in the price of the camera. And so for this beautiful new camera, we also have a beautiful new viewfinder. This is the multi-viewfinder MVF2 that has the same internal high-definition OLED display as the Alexa LF EVF2. This means if you shoot with an Alexa LF and with a Mini LF, you can use those two viewfinders and your operators will see exactly the same image. What they will see is a high resolution and high contrast image, which is best for the judgment of focus, dynamic range, and color. These viewfinders also have the airy color signs in them for the best color rendition and the best match for onset monitors and for stable color balance because we make sure that when the viewfinder gets hot or cold, we still have a proper color balance. Both viewfinders are high dynamic range HDR ready, so once there's a big demand for HDR in the viewfinder, we can bring new software, then you see HDR in the viewfinder. Both viewfinders also have the Aricam eyepiece, which is this here. We did a whole number of tests where we found that the Aricam eyepiece optical design is still the best optical design. It gives you a clean, distortion-free image and something called a large exit pupil. What that means is, if you look in the viewfinder and you move your head a little bit to the left, a little bit to the right, or a little bit away, you still see an image which, with a large exit pupil, which is appreciated by operators worldwide. Now, the viewfinder comes with a flip-out monitor. That's this guy here. And that has a large four-inch display here that has a very high refresh rate, so you don't see any motion artifacts. This display can show the camera image as well as the camera control menu. You can operate this viewfinder in one of three ways. Number one, you can take the display, attach it like this to the viewfinder, and now your operator can look through the eyepiece and your camera assistant can see the monitor and see the camera control monitor right there on this flip out monitor. The second mode is if you work in single operator mode. You would flip the viewfinder out and now the operator can look through the viewfinder and also see the image on the display. In this mode, the operator can control the camera by using this jog wheel here, that's right here. You can rotate the jog wheel, there's a button in the center to push, and that allows you to control the camera. Now, then the third mode is you want to remote control the camera. This is a small camera, so it wants to be on a crane and a gimbal on the Trinity system. And if you want to remote control the camera with a cable, you can simply take the viewfinder. We again flip our monitor so it sits like this. And then I can hold the viewfinder like this. And right here is a jog wheel that I can use to change the camera menu. And right here is a button that I can use to select things in the camera menu. So in a remote control situation, I have a cable here that's a 10 meter cable. So I can go 10 meters away from the camera and control it with this viewfinder, so you don't even need an extra remote control for the viewfinder. 
Now, if you do need to remotely control it wirelessly, which I would, for instance, recommend if you're going with a Steadicam or a Trinity system, then of course we have the WCU4 and we also have the Rep Remote for wireless remote control. Now, with this viewfinder comes a new viewfinder cable. And this uses a new technique. Um, it's a standard called a co-express cable. We're using very robust connectors here. The cable is very flexible and it very easily attaches in here and there's no key. So you can rotate it any which way you want, put it in, very easy to put in, very easy to take out. One connector is here on the viewfinder. The other connector is right here on the camera. The viewfinder has a couple other functions. Let me flip my monitor back over. First of all, on the bottom of the viewfinder, there's a connector for a headphone. So you can listen to what you're recording in terms of audio there. And in the eyepiece here is a built-in eyepiece heater. We have attached the heating elements directly to the glass. This gives them a great efficiency. And for most situations where the eyepiece fogs up, this should be perfect. Now in extreme situations, if you're out in the Arctic trying to shoot ice bears, you probably want to take an external eyepiece heater. For all those situations, this should be just fine. The viewfinder works on the camera left, like this, as well as camera right. And this is also the viewfinder that we will use for future cameras to come. So this is an investment in the future. And that's it for the beautiful Mini LF camera and the beautiful new viewfinder. Thank you very much.